Hello and welcome to the Fusion Children's Ministry Podcast. I'm Brent Colby. <laughs> I'm Stephen Salmon, just like the fish. And today, we are talking about the importance of setting goals. And that's right. Today, as always, our episode is not sponsored by KFC because everyone needs a little chicken in their life at some point. That's true. I love that you have this sitting around. Is this just a little normal yep, part? That's do, it. Do you do like give away like chickens uh-huh. to the kids? Like- yeah. Hey, what, how do you think we uh, get so many children to show up every week? It's like, hey, come on down, get some fried chicken. I like it. You can't do candy anymore. People don't like no, candy. So no, no. Parents love fried chicken way more than candy. <laughs> Today, Stephen, we have something very awesome. It's very special, in fact, because we are here at Church on the Ridge, which is your church. It's the Grinch's cave, but uh, yeah, we do children's ministry here. It's Church on the Ridge. Okay, this is pretty sweet. So tell us about tell us about this. I see the TVs and the. It's very much like a theatrical kind of setup here, right? Yeah, yeah. We've got entrances on both sides for uh, people coming in and off on either side. Just kind of gives it a little bit of that. Kids don't know what's going to happen. They don't know from what place we might uh, uh, enter from or what we're doing. It's just, it's fun. It yeah. gives them a kind of a, a theatrical, a little bit production feel to it. And it looks like your wall is a... a it's chalkboard. Chalkboard. So yeah. do you guys, year round, do you just draw Every series, we, we erase it and do a new one. That's and that's cool. just a really simple way, $9 for like a quart of chalkboard paint at yeah. Home Depot to make something where you can change out what's happening on your stage really easily. You just buy chalk and the chalk paint and you put it up there and it's like, wow, that's easier. We love doing big set things like this, but this is not, this is not, we don't do this every single time. This is, <laughs> this, is a, this is a bigger deal. This is one of our bigger productions that we're doing. Um, yeah. All right, today, Stephen, we're talking about goal setting. And yeah. I have a question for you. Okay. Why bother even setting goals at all? Well, I guess I'll follow your question with another question. Okay. Do you want to get anything done? Well, uh, yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we bother with goal setting. Um, I think it's pretty like, I don't know, scientists have said yes. that if you want to get things done, you got to set a goal. That's a quote from a scientist, I I'm think. sure. Yeah. yeah. As scientists, we'll quote them. We'll quote them in the video. A scientist, if you want to get anything done, set a goal. That's good. Yeah. So how do you guys go about setting goals? I mean, do you set just personal goals or do you even bring stuff to your team, have team goals? Like what's... Yeah, we're actually in the middle of our kind of reworking some of our, our goals and doing some things right now, looking at for, you know, 2017, it's going and everything. And so... Um, what's going to be the biggest impact this year. And we are looking at our wigs. We call them wigs, the wildly important goal. Okay. What's that okay. one thing that um, in the whirlwind, you know, the things that have to get done for ministry, what's the one thing we can pull out of the whirlwind, focus on, and it's going to elevate everything we do to the next level. Okay, so you only get one wig? You Is only that- do one wig per department, and then our church has a wig, and okay. all of our wigs support that wig. Okay, so I assume then it starts at the church leadership yep. and works its way down. Spider webs down, yep. Yeah, yep. that's cool. Yeah. Um, does that reproduce itself? So your department has a wig yeah do like the sub teams in your department also get that type of goal i mean correct does it down just to go... even our leadership teams each for uh whoever whatever they're whatever volunteers and part of for the into the department they're going to be building a wig that supports the the like the department wig which is someone supporting the church wig okay so wig stands for what again wildly important goal okay and it measures x to y by win Okay, break that. Okay, so wildly important goal opposed mm-hmm. to just a less important, just a normal There are goal. a lot of important goals. Say it's the whirlwind thing, right? We're all doing things that right. are all important, but, yeah. but it becomes just rote. We're just doing them. And if we're not tracking them and like focusing on them, it's just doing stuff because we know it's important, but sometimes we don't know why we do it. We just know it has to get done. Okay. By pulling one of those things out and saying, hey, I'm going to focus on this one thing and give it extra attention, say 80% of my time is going to the whirlwind, well now 20% of my time is gonna go just to this wig. And so it's getting extra time over what all the different stuff in the whirlwind is getting individually. Yeah. And so then that, what I'm banking on is that this wig, and we've done a lot of research to make sure the wig is gonna give us the biggest impact on our ministry. Yeah. So if our, goal is say 900 uh, people and kids on the ridge or something, right? Then 
we have to look at what is the thing that's going to give us the biggest impact in getting there. Is it volunteers? Is it marketing? Is it, you know, what, all those things are important. We're not going to stop doing any of those things. Right. But what are we going to give our most time to focusing on? Can you give me an example of a wig that you guys have had in the past? I get, uh, I get the important versus not important. Cause no, because this is our this is our first year doing it. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. perfect. So okay. we are we are going down this thing. We've done a lot of different type of goal setting things in the past. We've used things like Achieve It. We've used maps, ministry yep. action plans. Yep. Um, and this is our first year doing goals. We added something called um, uh, uh, KPIs, a bunch of different things. But this is a uh, it's a called the Four uh, Disciplines. Uh, by Sean Covey. I don't know if you've heard of that guy. Uh -huh. He's uh, so it, it, it's a book called the uh, the Four Disciplines, and it's about goal goal stuff. And so we're going through That's that cool. as a church right now. Yeah. Okay. So you said you you drew like a formula, mm -hmm. right? And when you're getting to something I think is really important about goals because goals are concrete, right? They can yeah. be measured. Right. If the goal can't be measured, it's not a goal. It's not not a good goal. <laughs> it's a bad goal. Like uh, what's a bad goal? Have more fun at church, right? That sure. Have more fun at church. Yeah, that's very hard to measure. You don't know by when you're trying to do this by and. It's very subjective. Some kids or some people, I could be having a great time, right? And the kids might be saying, "This is awful," right? And because you can't measure it. So right. when you said you had X and Y equals something else, what are those? X to Y by when? Okay, so, so we're at this. Okay, we want to get to this, and when are we going to do that? Got it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's huge. And how important do you think is setting a date on these things? Oh, well, again. The whirlwind, <laughs> the whirlwind being that stuff that takes up all of our time because they're important things, but they just take up our time. And so if you don't set a time date on a goal, that whirlwind is going to take over your life. It's just going to, yeah. it's going to be in charge. And so if you don't set a goal and put time, a deadline on it, then you have no, there's no fire, I guess, under you to actually get it done. It's like, hey, it looks really good on paper and you can turn it into your boss or something. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And then December 31st comes around and you don't do it. Ah, well, we didn't really get to it. Oh, why not? You know, the other stuff just got, oh, okay. And it's like, but you never really had a date on it. Yeah. If you say June 1st, it's like, okay, I've got till June 1st to get this done. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, deadlines are extremely motivating. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> motivating tools. Big time. There's a book called The Tyranny of the Urgent. Yes. Which kind of speaks That's to this. That's the whirlwind. Yeah, yeah, it's the whirlwind. It is. There's always something that people want from you. Um, there's a great illustration of uh, you have things that are urgent and not urgent. Right. And things that are important and not important. Right, I think right, we right. may have even talked about yeah, that here yeah, before. We did. Getting to the things that are that are urgent and important, that's easy because urgency always trumps in our life whatever's non-urgent. Right. But it's the stuff that's important but not urgent, yeah. which it sounds like some of your big goals yeah. may be. That's, that's, a, that's a wig. Yeah, it just requires discipline and some sort of system to yeah. get there. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's awesome. I love that. I love that. Um, where, so what's the name of that book again? Uh, it's called The Four Disciplines. Four Disciplines. Yeah. Okay, perfect. By Sean Covey. Perfect. Yeah. So I have to check it out. Okay, so it is uh, the beginning of the year when we are kind of presenting this to each other. Right. And one of my favorite things to do each year is to set some personal resolutions. Yeah. Are you a New Year's resolution guy? Uh, yeah. Okay, so here's what I want. You'll have a good okay. sense of this end. Don't look at my screen. I want you cheating. Jeez. I have uh, accumulated here the top New Year's resolutions of last year. Okay. okay? So okay. this is a year old. I okay. doubt they changed too much year over year, okay. but I would like for you to get uh, oh let me see. I want to, you, I, you have to get time, five of the top 10. Okay. You have to guess five and I'll only give you seven guesses. All right. Oh. You only have two misses. Okay. okay. You missed twice. A third strike. You're out. You need to get five oh, of them. Geez. Okay. I wasn't good at baseball. So either. I'm looking at 10% here okay. and you have to get uh, five out of the top 10, three okay. strikes and you're out. All right. Give them to me. Okay. Oh, you're not giving me a hint? No, oh, it's like, you just give, you it's like the feud. I just have to guess. Absolutely. Oh, this is from scratch. This is hardcore. All right. Uh, let's do an easy one. Uh, lose weight. Lose weight is number two oh, at 32%. Oh, number one. You've got okay. them right there. Yeah. I'll give you one hint. Uh, uh, number one and number two are extremely similar. So Take it to the gym. Yes. Yeah, stay fit and healthy. So you've got one and two. Okay. 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 Uh, fix my marriage. Fix marriage. Uh, spend more time with family and friends. I'll give it to you. That's three. Okay. Is that a Mac? Is it touch screen? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm just mm -hmm. smudging it up. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, um, so that's one, two, and three. Uh, no, that's one, two, and five. Oh. But you got three so far. There's seven remaining, and you have zero strikes. 
Uh, two, two more and you're a winner. Uh, another goal. Get better grades. Get better grades. No. Oh, Zero. Geez. Strike one. <laughs> Fine. Uh, well, that's a work one. Do uh, accomplish more at work. That's a bad goal. I don't know how people measure that. No. Yeah, that's strike okay. two. Come on. Uh, go on a trip. Go somewhere. Yes. Take, ding, ding, ding. Yeah. There it is. There's four. One more away and one strike. This is it. You either win or you lose on this. Jeez. You have stay fit and healthy, lose weight, travel, uh, improve. Uh, make more money. Make more money. Uh, no. What? Not How do people want to make more money? Here's what we what have. Is it? This is a Nelson survey. Stay fit and healthy, lose weight, enjoy life to the fullest. I don't know why that didn't strike you. Spend less, save more. How's spend, that not? No, Get more it money. Didn't say make more. Spend less, save Semantics. more. Semantics. Spend more time with family and friends. Get organized. Uh, I like this one. Uh, I will not make any resolutions. That's number seven. People, that people just want to get a gold done. <laughs> you can cross like, it off. I accomplished something this year. You can't cross it off if Set you write that it bar down. Low. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Travel more, read more, learn something learn new. Something new. Anyways. Read more. Yes. So, hey, whether you're setting goals for yourself for a new year or you're setting goals for your ministry, I think we can agree it is all important to do. So, yes, hey, thanks for letting us pick your brain about that. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. As always, this has been Steven Salmon and Brent Colby. We'll see you next time.